What's going on dudes? Today we're going to be doing another rapid disc review on the Discraft Soul. We've got a Ledgestone 2023 edition ESP Soul right here. This thing is so beautiful. Like the swirls on this are insane, bro. Go check out flyfactorydisc.com. We got some crazy ESP discs in right now. So we're going to be comparing that today against my Lobster. That's different flight numbers, but they fly pretty similarly. Pretty sure the numbers on the Soul are a 4, 5, negative 3, 1. I'll be putting it on the screen if I'm wrong. The Lobster is a 5, 5, negative 3, 1. So they're a little bit different. This is a one speed higher, but it shouldn't really make much of a difference. Pretty sure they fly is pretty similar. So the side profiles on these are a bit different. Soul's a bit squared off kind of right here. It's really thin as well, pretty domey. Feels feels really like a putter. It definitely feels more like a four speed, whereas this lobster feels more like a mid range. So the Soul is a great disc for beginners looking to get a nice turnover disc and or a straight flying mid range. If you don't have the arm speed for like a buzz or a hex or something, they keep wanting to fade out hard on you. Check out the Soul. Check out the lobster. Check out a disc like this. You're gonna get a lot more straight push before it fades out if you don't have the arm speed for it. Through a little, but you can still see it turning. So yeah, these are gonna be great discs for new players trying to learn how to get a turnover shot. If you don't have a forehand, these are gonna be some great options for you. So just because this is a flippy mid-range disc doesn't mean you can't rip it hard. Okay, you just gotta put it on more hyzer and you just gotta let it ride, you know? Pop it out there on some hyzer, it'll pop up flat, drift right. Well, if I did it this way, drift right, and it'll probably still fade back at the end. Let's check it out. See, I threw that on a lot of hyzer, but just popped up flat. Maybe even a little nose up, but it just popped up flat and just rode straight. Didn't even drift right. Might be because that's a pretty new sole, or maybe I just gave it a lot of hyzer, but didn't, didn't drift right at all. Let's see what this lobster does. Again, I gave that one a lot of hyzer. Popped up flat, didn't drift right. What a good flight, man. I mean, you can really rip into that. As long as you put that on a lot of hyzer, it's gonna get a full flight. So you guys saw if you've got like a 300 foot tunnel shot in the woods, these discs are gonna be great for pumping them out on hyzer and they're just gonna go straight and uh, not move a lot for you. They're just gonna pop up flat. So that's a great, a great tool to have in your bag for the woods. Now, another great thing you can do with these discs is put them out there flat, maybe a little bit of anhyzer, and they will just slowly drift to the right and pretty much never come out of the turn if you give them the right, the right speed. That being said, they also won't try to burn over on you. Like if you try to throw the rollo on this shot, it's gonna roll, right? It's too flippy. But these won't burn over on you, even if you give them a slight bit of Anheuser. We'll show you here. Just a smooth drift to the right. If I put that up a little higher, probably would have tried to pan out a little bit better. Maybe I got a little bit more distance to the right, but that's still a great shot. That's, that's great. Man, that lobster's so good. So here's why you need one of these discs in your bag. It's gonna teach you a lot. It's gonna teach you how to throw straight shots. It's gonna teach you how to throw finesse shots. It's gonna teach you how to throw hyzer flips, turnovers. You can even do finesse forehands with it, which I'll show you guys right now. You're gonna be able to do so much with these discs that it's kind of crazy. They're gonna teach you a lot. Ever since I threw this for the first time, I, I knew I had to have it in my bag. I didn't have another disc that flew like it. Something I can just put out there on hyzer and it flips up and goes straight. Something I can throw flat, gets a little baby S curve. I didn't have another disc like it, especially not in the mid range slot. I do have an H7 in the bag, which is a nine speed flippy boy driver. It'll do the same thing, but you have to throw it a little harder. You have to get it up to that nine speed in order to get that flight. This is gonna be so much easier to throw. This, the sole, the lobster, any disc like this is gonna be so much easier to throw than that H7, especially in the woods, especially for lower arm speeds. These mid ranges are gonna be money. I mean, I can still throw these out there like almost 350 feet on a full power shot. And you just gotta put it on some more hyzer. So we're gonna show you guys the finesse forehand game. Nice little flick there. Hopefully the tree wasn't in the way. I mean, just look at that. So if you're trying to learn some forehands too, go pick yourself up one of these flippy mids. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys wanna check out the Soul 
Uplink, Lobster. Make sure you guys go check them out at flightfactorydisc.com. We have a great selection of ESP soles. I just rearranged the whole Discraft section and we have some banger disc out there. So make sure you guys go check out our Discraft. That's gonna end it out for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.